Hey guys, so today I have a video, so first impressions of the SOG Aegis FL. I always wanted one of these when I was uh, on my Tonto kick when I was younger. <laughs> I had a lot of uh, Tonto knives, but I wanted a Tonto uh, SOG Aegis and it just looked really cool. It was kind of comparable to me to like my recon one that I had at the time and I was just like a big uh, like tonto buying frenzy at the time especially black tontos because they all looked kind of uniform and i kind of liked having that in my collection um but anyways uh i never got it because not everybody loved the lock that it had and i've never personally been a huge fan of spring assisted knives although i do i have had some and i do have one of them is is uh, one of my grail knives is actually spring assisted um it's definitely not my favorite i would i'm kind of like one of those either switchblade or manual but make the manual one like really smooth so i never got around to getting that one but recently um i saw that uh kevin cleary's had a, a review of the new ages model and honestly it, rem it reminded me of a of a nerf toy i had like a pool toy when i was a kid it was like it's like a bright uh neon kind of color something like like this and blue so to me it's just not very not my style i would say um but you know i agree with him what he had to say in his review besides that he didn't mention the color or the aesthetics at all that was just my personal thing but he mentions that they had changed that they changed the design it was totally different it's like a shorter blade now it's like a quarter inch shorter and they stuck some weird protruding lanyard hole on the end that i think it's just it doesn't do anything for anyone and it doesn't do the knife any favors but this one unfortunately for me i saw it and i i immediately recognized this is the old design you have the old longer pointier um full flat ground blade design with the handle that fits that sits in it like almost perfectly you see it goes from end to end here you don't have any wasted handle space like the one that uh, kevin was showing in his in his um video um, but yeah, I saw this one and, and this is the, the, not the Tonto version, but this is the same kind of one that was out back then. So I really like this design too. I really like how the design flows like this. It's just very, very nicely, uh, put together and just drawn, I guess. It's very smooth and the curves just kind of all work well, very together, very well together. And it gives you a nice ergonomic grip in a variety of ways. So pretty much, um... For about twenty dollars, it was affordable, budget friendly, with decent steel. I think this is eight CR thirteen MOV or fourteen MOV or something like that. And because of uh, it being this this uh, slender and slick, like fully stainless steel frame lock design with a deep carry pocket clip, this thing carries beautifully in all the pockets and in the waistband and everything. It draws out really nicely because of the weight of the of the knife. It stays in well. I don't know about being upside down. I haven't you know had it long enough yet, but. In normal jeans and stuff like that, it just carries all the way down there. You almost can't see it at all, but you get a nice grip on it. You can pull it up. It's uh, It comes out smoothly, and it deploys really smoothly, too. I believe this is on, like, some just nylon washer, so it's nothing special here, but it just seems like to be put together very well. Or I just got really lucky, and I guess I got a really smooth one, but I don't know. I'm just going to give them the benefit of the doubt and just think that I've, I've had other knives that are like super smooth without it having any special fancy bearing system inside them so this is definitely one of those knives and it's just really fun to play with because of how how smooth it opens and closes and the centering on this one was almost spot on you see it's like just ever so slightly to the left that's not a big thing for me especially when i spend as much as i did on this pocket knife which was 20 bucks like i said no big deal um so i would say a uh, similar knife i had in the past that i've carried for a long time is this zt 801 this guy now is like a whole different thing this thing is like about like 200 dollars um i don't know if they make this this configuration anymore with the just uh this is like a, a bead blasted titanium and then like the stone wash blade but I think ZT still has this one out. But I just like to put these side by side. Show that they're kind of like about the same blade length. Same size. I would kind of group them together for utility things. They're, you know, very... They're like a flat ground. This one's full flat ground. So this one's going to be a little better slicer and everything. But they're long, pointy knives for, I, I would say, finer tasks and things like that. Like, this is like a... This one's like a little bit of a thicker blade too, so... 
you can see that it's definitely a little bit more heavy duty. And the fact that it's titanium, you can feel on this one that the handle is lighter and it's a little bit more front heavy than this one, which because it's all stainless steel, you feel that weight in the back a little bit more towards your palm, but it makes you feel like you have a little bit more control with it. It's very smooth and very well balanced for the price. So if you guys are checking out something that's budget friendly, um, maybe for a gift for somebody else that's not like super into knives, so you don't wanna spend a lot of money, but you wanna give them something that's legit, that's gonna like last them and at least serve them for the regular tasks of opening boxes and packages and things like that, then I think you should check this one out. This one's pretty cool. I haven't used it that much. I'm gonna come back with a full review on it when I've had more experience with it and I'll let you guys know what I think uh, what I think of it as a, as a knife. Um, with the test of time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.